Hello traders, Gary Wagner here with the Gold Forecast. It is Aloha Friday, as we say on the islands of Hawaii. It is the 17th day of June, Friday, and this is the daily report for gold. We have gold with roughly a half an hour left in trading. It is currently trading up approximately $10, $11, 1090 is the current print. As you can see on our screen, we have 1389.27. We are looking at a 360 minute straightforward candlestick chart. I'm going to blow this up in a second, but the reason for looking at it in this angle is that when we take a look at this long-term trend line right in here, and as you can see, I'm fixing this trend line based upon a series of lows here, here, here and of course these most recent lows here you can see that we have I believe moved away from that quite nicely as we take a look in the area of the market today now when I go ahead and blow this up what you will see is as follows we have some critical areas we have found support been able to take them out but we still have a very critical area at 1551 that is to me a target that must be taken out must be taken out if i'm to believe that this rally is going to continue higher on a technical basis and in terms of our count whether or not we get a traditional fifth wave or a truncated fifth wave in other words what is known as a fifth wave failure to me is going to be really resting upon that particular benchmark that of 1551 now as you look at this market you can see that we have had a substantial rally the marketplace itself in terms of finding support when we take a look at it you can see that this 1530 this is the area that I've been pegging as support right in here you can see that it finds support in this area right in here right in here and then again right in here however we took a rally and this is what I found is critical we took a rally uh, this is up to around that 1551 this is that critical area this is the benchmark that we absolutely need to take out was unable to sustain a rally came back down hit a low in terms of the marketplace itself I believe it was around 1508 and then began to rally back up as you can see we've got this very very nice push right in here which came in in today's trading which took us well over this particular support level and my belief is is that we should now see this whereas it was resistance in here support in here should now become support again now, when we take a look at our daily chart, our daily chart, and this has our master Elliott wave count and some channel lines, you can see that in terms of a channel line that it's following, if we take a look at this particular channel line, of course, as the market came up, this is our January correction when we hit our low right in here, 1308. You know what, it's, it's just impossibly hard to say 1308, but that is actually the number when we're sitting up at around 1500 a couple months later. But as you can see, as this market traded up in this area here, we can see our channel line becoming resistance, it breaking above that, coming back down, you can now see this channel line becoming support right in here. It trades above that and as you can see this upper channel line right here seems to have caused that resistance that's at 1551 it then comes back down find support right in this area which is back to that channel line and then once again what I believe is going to be critical is how the market reacts if it can take out this 1551 in other words break above this particular channel line here as it was unable to do right here and so it is I believe a fairly critical area that we absolutely want to watch and we need to watch because it is to me the most important technical information we will receive is how it reacts at 1551 why do I believe that 
Well, I believe that because we had the series of failures in this area. Series of failures. Now, so in terms of our master count, we can still look at the market if we're if our belief is that we had that pennant correction from that pennant correction we've had one wave one wave two and we are currently in wave three of our minor count that is my personal belief at this point this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and we will talk to you next week for another daily update and review. Bye-bye. Many sights to see And when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange So strange